that a signal to start talking? Whenever you want, now. Oh, I see. Okay. The Aarhus Convention is about environmental democracy. I think that's the key for me. It's about a next step in democracy. Uh, we have now well established the principles of representative democracy, and we're now trying to take it further so that we include participatory democracy. So therefore, it's about involving people in decision-making about the environment. And this has been a, a great advantage of this uh, instrument, this piece of legislation. It enables people in different countries to play a part. But it still has a long way to go. I think that's why we have the task force on public participation, of which I'm privileged to be chair. But it's, it's still hard work to blend representative democracy and participatory democracy. When we elect people, naturally, they feel they have a job to do, and they have an important job to do, and they wish to get on with it, and sometimes they don't have time to include the voices of the public. So we have to develop better methods for including people in the decision-making, and we have to inform people that they have that right. So there's still a long way to go and a lot of work to be done, but I think this is the challenge of ours. How's that?